Hey YouTube, welcome back to Cassandra's Kitchen where I eat to live and not live to eat. Today I'm going to be making some Thai basil rice. So if you're interested in seeing my recipe, stay tuned and I'll show you. So what we need for my recipe, what I'm going to be using, I have some red peppers, I have some scallions, I have some sweet yellow onions, I have some shallots, I have some tomatoes, some Romana tomatoes, I'll probably add a couple more tomatoes, I have some habanero, a little bit of uh, sliced uh, carrots, some garlic, I have some mushrooms. I'm going to put some broccoli in mine. So I've rinsed off some frozen broccoli. And I have uh, some day-old rice. I made some jasmine rice. So it's best to use day-old rice when you're making your Thai. And I'm going to be using just eggs for the egg uh, portion. And then I think I'm just going to add a little bit of dairy and chicken in there. So to make it a chicken um, Thai basil but i'm gonna use the protein i'm gonna use the chicken as the uh protein i'm gonna use the daring chicken and then we're just gonna get all this together and i'll walk and uh so come on over to the stove and i'll let you guys see what i'm gonna do so in my walk i have toasted some toasted sesame seed oil along with a little bit of grapeseed oil so my wok is good and hot but what i'm gonna do is lift up i'm gonna put in my onions my carrots just to go ahead and get these started. I'm not going to put the, um, put my garlic in there. My scallions. I mean my shallots. Save my scallions for last. I'm going to put my peppers in here. And my uh, habanero. I'm going to save the scallions and the tomatoes for last. So I'm going to get that in there with my mushrooms. And I'm going to put in my broccoli. I'm just going to get this in here. And I'm going to put a little bit of smoked paprika in there. And then what I'm using is the tamari seasoning. And so most people when they make Thai, they use either um, uh, oyster sauce or fish sauce, so I'm using tamari. I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of that tamari in here. If we need more, we will. And for some heat, I'm using some chili garlic sauce. I'm gonna start off with one little teaspoon of the chili garlic sauce. I want mine to be uh, Thai spicy. So I may add just a little bit more in there, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice little saute or stir fry first. And I'm trying to get my wok to heat back up. So I'm going to just um, cook this in the wok for about five minutes. I'm trying to get it to heat back up to temperature since I put everything in here cold. And then we'll go ahead and start to build the daring chicken doesn't take long, so I'm going to put that in here as soon as the wok heats back up. I'm going to stir my daring chicken in here because I had it out of the refrigerator, so it is pretty much unthawed. Uh, out of the freezer, I should say. It's pretty much unthawed, so I'm going to throw my pieces of chicken in there. You can make this with or without the daring chicken. Um, I actually like it with no meat because I usually order it like that. And so, But I just thought I'd throw some in there since I had some left. But I'm going to let this come to back to temperature. And we're going to build from here. We're going to throw our dairy and chicken in here. And then once we do that, we're going to put in our egg. Uh, one thing I did forget, I wanted to put just a little pinch of ginger, uh, ground ginger in here. Just for a little extra flavor. Just a little sprinkle of that. Not much at all. And also I got some red crushed peppers. Because, again, I want mine to be Thai spicy. So, depending on how the habaneros and the uh, garlic sauce uh, makes it. 
spices it up, I may add just a little bit more crushed red peppers. But again, we're gonna get this back up to temperature. I turned it back up. That's what happens when you cook it on electric heat. Sometimes when you add cold foods in there, it kind of cools off your wok. So let this come up to temperature for about another minute. I'll come back on. And then the star of the show, of course, is our basil. So don't forget to get some fresh basil. I have pulled some off my basil plant. Um, but the basil will go in there last with the tomatoes and the scallions. Um, but we're going to go ahead and bring this up to temperature. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the wok is back up to par. I threw some of my chicken pieces in there. I just Excuse me, I pushed some of my veggies aside, so I put the chicken in there and just let them brown a little bit. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is do my just egg. And you don't, you can omit the egg because, you know, when I go out to most restaurants, I don't do the egg. So I'm just going to do just enough, about a couple eggs in here, which typically when you're using the just eggs, um, one fourth cup is a one equivalent to one egg. I'm just going to put a little black pepper on my egg there. And we're just going to let our egg kind of cook. And we're going to just start to scramble that, but our wok is up high. So we're going to let this kind of go and scramble. And then we're going to put in our rice and we're going to put in our basil and everything else. But I want to go ahead and scramble our egg. And my wok is getting real good and hot, which is good. And so but my egg is starting to scramble. And you can actually, if you don't want to put the egg in here with your, um, with everything, you can always do the egg separately. But I prefer to put it in here. And it looks like my it's sticking on the bottom, which will be fine. But once I start putting everything else in here, it'll loosen up. Continue to cook as we get everything else in here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and bring back down the rest of my vegetables here. <coughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and scoop some rice in there. And again, it's best to use day-old rice. So I'm going to put a couple of cups of rice, or if you like a lot of rice, you know, put your rice in there, but it's good and sticky. So put just a little bit more. But again, I do like a lot of rice. But my rice is real good and sticky. But that's what you want. You want day-old rice to go in here. Okay. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and finish cooking this around. So now I'm going to turn my wok down just a bit. I want to get that rice cooked in there real good. Again, this is supposed to be good and hot because it's stir fry. And what I'm going to do is just sprinkle just a tad bit more of tamari. Just a little bit. Just to get my rice good and seasoned. And while we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and put my basil. Uh-oh, my basil in there. Your basil, you just want to basically wilter it, so that's why that's last. The tomatoes, we just want to put those in our last with the scallions. And just go ahead, and once that basil starts to wilter, it's going to be ready to take off the heat. Try to make sure all your rice is mixed in there really well. And this is all you do, guys. For some nice Thai base. I want to taste my heat. Mm. It's got really good flavor. The tamari takes the place of the fish, um, the oyster sauce. But I like, when I go, I get mine Thai spicy. So I'm going to add just a little bit more of the Thai sauce. Because again, I like mine Thai spicy. And that's usually like a five. They give you a heat level. And mine is usually always at a Thai spicy heat. A five. 
So I'm going to turn my heat off there. And that's all you have to do. And there you have it. My basil is done wildered. And that's all you do is for some Thai basil rice. Simple and easy. Secret is just to make sure your rice is a day old. But let me get this plated up. And I'll come back and let you guys see what it tastes like. All right, guys, see how simple and easy that was? Thai basil rice. And I've tasted it, y'all, and I think it tastes delicious. So, but I'm going to let my husband come over and be the judge. So, Mr. Coleman. Yes. Can I have your assistance, please? Yes, you may. Come on over here, sir. I'm going to have you taste it. And I don't think it's too spicy. But if you just let them know. It looks hot, y'all. It really does. Well, I know it's spicy. I mean, it's heat hot, but. Let me taste it. See what it tastes like. Trying to get all these elements in here that she done cooked. We love Thai food. We always go out and buy Thai food, so. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. This is really good. I mean, tastes like Thai food. Got a little spiciness to it now. You know, the tomatoes, the the broccoli, and the onions, all this stuff that she put in here. Good God Almighty, y'all. Y'all not going to be disappointed. You like and y'all going to love it. Yes, I do. I like it. All right. You know, my spice level is different than your spice level because you know I don't like it. I don't like uncomfortable, y'all. But It's not that bad, though. This right here, no, it's not at all. It's, okay. it's not even uncomfortable. It's okay. eatable. So, yeah, you did that. Great right. job. But well, thank you. I appreciate it. I, thought, I was a little worried. So, yes, so this is the Thai basil rice, fried rice. And, again, it's simple and easy, just a lot of simple, clean ingredients. If yes, you try it, you know what to do. Give, give me a thumbs up. up. Give, give me a thumbs, thumbs up. And of course, share, share you this guys. video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Cassandra. Subscribe, you guys. Subscribe. And this is really good, and you won't be disappointed. You know, you can you can take your spice up to whatever, like she said, take your spice up to whatever height you want it. But me, I don't like all that, you know, Eat. nose running. And, I always go to the Thai you know, restaurant and, and get mine a five. Not me, no. I get mine Thai spicy five. I like spicy, five, but not this spicy. And you get you a Thai spicy three, right? If that's what yeah, you, want you always it. get three. I just get five. medium or whatever, you know. Well, let me just take. I didn't even taste it, but I tasted it. Yeah, it's really good. So go ahead. I know it's good, but I didn't taste it. You did a great job, baby. Go ahead. It's really good job. Mmm. 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 And it ain't got a lot of stuff in it, it but don't. the tamari sauce. Yeah. I tell you. It's really a good substitute for the oyster and fish sauce. Mm, this is so good. Yeah, it's really good. So you know what to do. Hit me up. If you tried it and you like me, drop me a comment and tell me you tried it. You liked it. And with this, you can put any vegetables. These yeah. are just the vegetables I do, do when I like. go to the Thai restaurant. I never get meat or protein, but I try to just start making it home. Put a yeah. vegan chicken in there. But hey, here you have it. So again, from Cassandra's Kitchen to yours, we love you guys. Until next time, peace. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.